Thanks for clicking on the video. It's a warm day today, so what I'm going to review is the Whole Garden Rosé. Hi there, SG Alcohol Guy here, giving you honest reviews on the alcohols that I am tasting. As mentioned, today we'll be looking at the Whole Garden Rosé. Now, I've previously reviewed the Whole Garden which is a wheat beer from Belgium. And today, we're going to look at the Whole Garden Rosé, which is a wheat beer from Belgium. Uh, but the, the label, you know, the, the, the cap is predominantly pink, uh, hence the term Rosé. And to put it simply, this is a wheat beer brewed with raspberry. And this is currently retailing at around three fifty Singapore dollars per bottle. For that, you don't get a normal size bottle. You actually get a two hundred and fifty ml bottle. Really cute. Plus, it contains three percent alcohol content. So I'm not sure about the target audience, but because of the color, the size, and the lower alcohol content, it appealed to a primarily female audience. And as usual, when I review beers, I will go through how the beer looks, smells, and tastes. And I do like to pour my beers in a more haphazard manner, in the sense that I want the foam to appear in the glass rather than in my stomach. That allows you to feel a lot less bloated, uh, meaning you can enjoy the drink a lot more. As you can see, after pouring it out, it's a really small quantity. This glass can contain 350 milliliters of liquid and it only fills it up by this much. Now looking at the color, uh, it's definitely a little bit pink. Uh, however, because wheat beer is a bit yellowish, uh, I'm guessing that the pink sort of mixed a little bit and now it's turning a bit you know, orangey to a certain extent. So it's a very interesting color, nice cloudy color. And scent-wise, it smells sweet. Um, it smells like they use concentrated juice, you know, um, when, when they were brewing this. So it's achingly sweet already. I haven't even tasted it and I find it achingly sweet. You can also detect the, the undertones of that wheat beer, but it's a very light wheat beer, just an overpowering sweetness. It's a warm day, so I am craving something sweet. So let's see how the taste test goes. I can't actually taste the wheat beer. There's no hint of it at the start. There's no hint of it at the end. I'm just tasting raspberry. And it's not just raspberry, it's a very sweet raspberry drink. And I guess the easiest way for me to describe this is it's like I'm drinking liquid bubblegum. Uh, it's just a bubblegum flavor in my mouth, in liquid form, in and out, in, in and down, sorry. It's a very refreshing drink. Uh, first of all, it's cold. Second of all, it's sweet. It's a little bit carbonated. Fantastic drink for a warm day. But if you're looking for a flavoured beer, this won't be it. This is a flavoured drink. You won't taste the beer. You can't detect the alcohol. The sweetness covers everything. So while I do love the Whole Garden Belgian Wheat Beer, this Whole Garden Rosé uh, is probably a little bit too sweet for me and too lacking in alcohol. So for me, this is not something that I'll be revisiting. Um, I wouldn't mind it if it's a free gift, but it's not something that I'll be purchasing for myself. Hey there, thanks for watching. Up to this point, I just want to state that all these reviews are based on my personal taste preferences and opinions. They are not to be used as an industry standard. I do, however, want to know what you think of this Whole Garden Rosé, if you tried it before, you know, drop me some comments, let's compare some notes. If you're still here, do of course help me click on the like button, do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, plus the notification bell, uh, because I upload two new videos every week. Do also share my video uh, if you know anyone who would be interested 
in this review. Most importantly, happy drinking! <laughs>